<laughs> I've had this pump for 10 years. And it's today's the first day it's failed me. Dude, I might need to... Nope. Dude, I might need to crack a CO2 in this thing. My pump out. I'll get it pumped up eventually. We're, uh, we're doing a gravel reel shoot today. We're gonna grab a couple photos, but I'm trying to get intros for my Instagram reels. And I notice when the lighting's not right, or, I mean, this sounds obvious, but it's better to go out and specifically shoot for one thing than to try and, for instance, do the vert challenge. And we have all this footage in my head. I'm like, oh, we're gonna have plenty of ride footage that works perfect on these reels but the lighting's not really right. It's just shot completely differently. So we're trying to get into a new content flow and uh, that's what we're out doing. If I can get air in this tire, we're gonna actually get some shots. <laughs> this is the end of an era. I know everybody's had this pump and uh, today's the last day I ever used it. I'm gonna have to get a new pump on the way home. Also, does anyone else like to wrap a towel or something around CO2 so they don't freeze their hands off when it's going? Let's see here. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Dude, you, you would never know that I've been riding bikes for like 20 years. Dude, I'm such a freaking idiot. All right, here we go. Let's check this pressure. Did I really just pump it up to 49? <laughs> what? You know, I'm, I'm not an idiot. I just, I don't know. I ride a lot of different bikes. I do a lot of different things. Give myself some credit here. Okay, we're close. We did it. We made it. I got air in my tire and we came out to shoot just some reels clips. I wanted a standing climbing shot, seated climbing, a descending kind of technical shot and whatever. But the truth is, I think when you go out and film like this, you almost can't plan for the real good thing you're going to get because you have to see how the light is. And sometimes you find sections of trail or road that you've never looked at the same way. Like for instance, I've never, I, I've ridden this little loop, but I've never seen that tree framing and the light's hitting it perfect, and I'm literally on the perfect bike to go around that corner and have some like cyclocross vibes. And it's also funny because I'm doing my first cyclocross race next weekend, so it's like little practice. So it's just funny how things work out, and I think it's like the importance of consistency when it comes to doing shoots and content. It's that, you know, you know sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get, but if you're out doing it consistently enough, you're gonna get something really good eventually. So I feel like we just nailed a really good video shot. I feel like we should probably show it right now. I think we nailed it. We got probably the scariest thing I've done on a bike in a while, which was riding down this basically, uh, what is it, granite? I should know that, this is Granite Bay. <laughs> These granite slabs. Dude, going down, you'll see the footage. This steep shoot, there's a little, like, one foot drop at the end, but with the high post, it was terrifying. We made it happen. We got some shots of me just bonsaiing across the sand. Little, we tried to get a sand rut, whatever. But I think it was just a solid 90 minute crank it out film session. And now uh, I'm gonna take you back to work with me and take over the camera duties from JJ and uh, kind of show you what the rest of my day looks like. I'm back at the studio, got cleaned up a little bit. And I'm gonna stretch because after JJ left, I actually snuck in an extra hour loop and just smashed on this crux. And I had a blast because it just rained, the trails were in great shape, and I'm kinda getting this bike figured out, uh, which is good timing because I did mention I'm doing a cyclocross race next week. And then I think the following week, I'm gonna do a gravel race. I'm not sure yet. But it, anyways, doesn't matter. My training's not gonna change. It's all just for fun anyways. Uh, but before I get food now, I'm going to uh, do a little stretch, total body, um, probably get on the foam roller a little bit too. So I'll show you what I'm doing and then uh, we'll grab food, come back and actually get to some uh, computer work.
truck off road. It's this little parking lot. And I go through to get a sandwich. Not the most glamorous, but uh, I got a four by four, so. <laughs> Gotta use it sometimes. I just smashed that turkey wrap and some sun chips. Snacking on them a little bit, watching some Nick Bear Fitness. And I should probably just apologize to a very loyal Dodd fan member, Sean Hunt. He's local, he's a buddy, and he really hates when I eat Subway because it's just low quality processed meats. Uh, we could debate about that another time. <clears throat> Sorry, Sean, I had to put this in here for you. Uh, and I wanna bring up the fact that BPN, just as a brand, and Nick Bear in particular, inspires me so much to grow Dodd Health into something more than just me owning and operating it. Uh, there's been all these people over the years that have sort of kept me motivated through their own content and their business journey. And there's other people in the fitness industry that have done it, uh, and even the cycling industry. And like right now, BPN is like the epitome of that. <clears throat> and uh, it's super cool for me because I am now an official athlete for BPN, which is totally surreal. And uh, the fact I get to work with these guys and you know do more collaborative content and uh, hopefully eventually just get over to Texas and, and meet everybody, uh, it's just a huge honor. And they were taking such good care of me, it's insane. So the product's great, it's huge inspiration for Dialed Health. And uh, it's stuff like this where these doses of motivation when you're a business owner are so necessary. You know, there are times I stop myself from you know, scrolling through a feed on Instagram or watching certain YouTube videos because I'm like, okay, I should be working. But if I don't do it often enough, I start losing that inspiration. You know, if I don't have the podcast, if I'm not reading a motivational book, I mean, it's rare I'm not, but when I don't for, let's just say a string of a few days, I can tell my energy level comes down. Like my urgency comes down, my ambition, my, my vision. And so it's just important to surround yourself with doses of motivation because you're not gonna stay motivated 100% of the time. Uh, but you know, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a shower, you know, you got to wash daily. It works, but it doesn't last forever. So you just keep hitting it and hitting it and hitting it. Uh, so thank you BPN for being a part of, uh, <clears throat> my journey as well. Uh, cause you're inspiring me a lot. <clears throat> oh yeah. Lincoln bio. I am going through my checklist of the day. Uh, one thing I've been using lately is just the notes on my phone. I basically set up these little check marks I'll show you right now I, f I feel like this is the simplest way for me to have my schedule checklist done because it's so quick and things are always moving uh, that I just have found this is way easier so I have a note on my phone called this week you can see this week so far I'm basically just checking stuff off the list and what's nice is like if I don't finish something one day I can just drag it and move it to the next day and then I have some new weekly tasks because we're actually changing a lot of the ways we're gonna do daily operations and I'm starting to slowly build the team back up a little bit, which feels really good. So I'm kind of just looking at what I need to do. And I think because communications have been such a struggle since I've had more demand, I'm gonna just block off the next 30 minutes to just focus on my emails. And then at 30 minutes, I'll stop I'm gonna to switch to my blog post uh, about the vert challenge, and then I'm going to, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. <laughs> I have no idea. We'll figure it out though. Um, let's start some emails. Turn on some music, and uh, we're gonna do this thing. Well, I'm pretty satisfied with the amount of emails that we got done. Uh, it's rare I feel like that too, with computer work, but Things feel organized. I got caught up at least within yesterday as far as communications. And now I'm gonna go to UPS and drop off this merch for a very special Dialed Fan member. We're starting to get some very legit pros using the programs and hopefully next year we can maybe recruit one or two and try and do something more official. But until then, we're trying to hook them up as much as we can. And uh, that's pretty much it. Probably swing by a coffee shop, maybe post an Instagram story, might wait till tomorrow morning, but we'll play it by ear. Uh, but that was pretty much a full day with me. Very standard uh, mix of content and computer work. 
And as you can see, it's pretty dang fun. Um, I definitely gotta think, I gotta stay organized. There's a lot of moves we gotta make, uh, but it is really freaking cool. Um, I love it. So we'll see you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I think the next one is gonna be my first cyclocross race. It's a super low key one, uh, but it's supposed to be a good party. And it's gonna be us setting up a booth to promote the uh, double Everesting premiere in person. So anyways, you can tell my brain starts spinning when I think about all of it. You know, it's all really cool stuff, but it's it's strategic. You know, like we do, we do everything for a reason. Uh, so that's it. Until next time, start moving forward. See you soon.